Hey, EC here. Today we're going to go through the 18 uh, Thunderbolt 3 dock. Uh, this is Thunderbolt 3. It's got two of those ports, um, both at the back. But the biggest thing that you need to know before you carry on watching this video, if you're looking at this or considering this, it is quite an old unit, by the way, is that it uses DisplayPort, uh, not HDMI. So if that's not for you and you're like, what is DisplayPort? I know what HDMI is. DisplayPort is just another configurational plug that allows you to plug it into some of the monitors. Some monitors that you're using um, like will have both HDMI and DisplayPort, but if yours doesn't and only has HDMI, this one might not be the option for you. You can still make it work, you just need to get a USB-C to HDMI cable, but it also means that it takes out one of your two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Anyway, let's get into this. This video is really if you want to know all the specifications on it, um, just have a good look at it and decide if this is something for you, or you're comparing on your journey of looking for Thunderbolt 3 docks, uh, what is the right option? Now, of course, there's some other brands out there like Cal Digital, um, Balkan's got some awesome ones out there, and then A10. Now, I got this about five years ago, so this is an old device that I'm sort of reviewing, but it's more, as I've looked around, I've been like, well, do I need to upgrade or not upgrade? And it does everything I needed to do day to day. So. I'm using this currently with a MacBook uh, 14 inch Pro or M1 Pro and it works seamlessly, totally fine. I've also used it with my iPad, my wife's M1 uh, MacBook, the 13 inch one, and totally good as well. So in terms of functionality, it's only being used with Mac devices or Apple devices. So if you are using a PC, uh, I'm pretty sure the Service Pro and all those types of things would work totally fine as well. Just so you know, this is more of a review from a user that's used it with Apple. Now, when it comes to the specifications, we'll break those down right now. We've got two USB-A ports, uh, both of these USB-A ports are 3.1 standard, one USB-C port at the front, and that's also 3.1 standard. So that means it's five gigabits per second compared to the Thunderbolt 3 ports, that, there's two of those that are on the back that are at 40 gigabits per second. Now, one of those ports is the power delivery one, which of course will probably plug into your device like your MacBook in my case, or iPad. And then the other one is free for you to do whatever you want. That could be display, or it could be storage, or it could just be to, I don't know, charge something, whatever you want. Then you've got a LAN port, uh, Ethernet, gigabit, I think it's just one gigabit. And then you've got that mic and headphone combo, 3.5 mil jacks. The, the plug on the side there's for your power. The power brick I've hidden underneath my desk. I didn't really want to have that on my desktop with the actual unit. And it's made out of aluminium or like metal frame, so that's sort of nice as well compared to some of these other units. It doesn't get hot. It doesn't give me any grief. Uh, the cable that came with it was too short, so I bought a Belkin one. It was like half a meter. That made it better. And I honestly can't say to you that there's anything bad about it. It's a great unit. I do believe that there's better ones out there, but you also pay a a lot more for those other ones, except for this Balkan one that I'll put in the link description. But if you've got any questions or any feedback, please ask. Um, otherwise, have a good day. Invest in luck on your journey. See ya.